David, you've personally been assigned by me to keep an eye on number three, preceding my test with her outside of the facility ground. By no circumstances should you change or alter these directives. If you do, then I'll be forced to take matters into my own hands. Remember, she is our test subject, not your friend. The outcome of this trial relies solely upon you. So, make it count. Again. Had a few stops to make. <sighs> nice place. It's nice, considering you maxed out all of your credit cards to get us into the suburbs. You know, last time I checked, uh, I'm not the one with superhuman powers trying huh. to hack the government. All right, shut up. I'm just kidding. Good throw. What's on your mind? It's been four months. Honestly, I just can't help but think about the other people stuck at the facility. All suffering like I did. I can't really tell the future, but one day this will all work out. We can't save them now because it's just too dangerous, but one day. I know, you're right. It's just... I'm gonna go inside. I, I can cook something. You can cook. Well, I can cook anything as long as you don't mind it being burnt or charred. Well, it probably will be burnt though. been playing it for five days. These birds never hit the towers. Stupid pigs in their forts. Are you expecting someone? No. Are you?
Mission Entry 1138, my name is David, and I've been personally assigned by Dr. Curtis himself to keep an eye on number three, as he does an external test. My assignment is to draw her back into the real world, only to show her how cruel it actually is. However, this will be my final log for the facility. I've seen what Curtis and Cohen have done to these people, and I, I just can't support it any longer. If this is the only good deed I've done in my life, then let it be known. I'd rather be remembered as a good man than one who let all innocent people die. It all starts with her. It doesn't matter how fast she can run, how far she can go, or how cunning she really is. What matters is that she'll always come back to us. Because that's what she really is, Hector. Not a person, but a weapon. Director Cohen said to reach the extraction point as quickly as possible. Remember, she's dangerous, so take precautions. I didn't sign up for this. Neither did I. I never thought that you'd be the one to let me down, Hector. After all these years, I was beginning to like you. But Director Cohen, we can't just expect all of our test subjects to comply with the training methods. I figured if number three were given some freedom, she'd see how cruel the world really is. And do you even know how long it took me to clean up the mess after you decided to take matters into your own hands? It's not my fault. David was a traitor. I couldn't trust him. I had to take it it's out. It's not that aspect I'm concerned with. Her abilities are unstable. Unlike yours, which if I can remind you, I helped you with. 
It's not about my past and my powers. It's about my actions, and they're justified. You're right, Curtis. This is about your actions. I don't like people who make mistakes that follow my path. And you, Curtis, make mistakes. So, what do you say? I'm saying I don't believe in second chances. for them. Let's just say it's my job to keep people like you out of here. Do you even know what you're guarding in there? People like you, with abilities. You're gonna have to come with me. Just shoot me already. What you're doing in there, it isn't right. But you wouldn't understand. You think I want to do this? Hold people up against their will? You're dead wrong. Then why do it in the first place? It's all a lie. Once you get what you really want out of all this, they're gonna take it away from you. Not when they already have it. Not when they already have her locked away with all the others. What do you mean, her? My sister. I took her away from us at a young age. So I decided to join the facility, to monitor what they were doing to her. Keep an eye out for her. Your sister? She's still there? At the facility? We kept quiet about her abilities for so many years. Eventually they found out. Look, if you can get me near the facility, I can get your sister out of there. I promise. I'll explain more on the way. Let's get moving. It's the strangest thing. Out of all the people I meet in the facility, I seem to meet the nicest ones. What's your name? Gabe. You? You see this? This is why I've been working with you all this time. No, I... I didn't mean to. You didn't mean to do what? To kill her? Of course you did. You were never a person. You're a weapon. So what's your name? Oh, come on. You're trying to at least tell me that. Look, I'm David, if that helps. I don't know. You don't know what now? I don't know my name. I don't know where I came from. How about... Stick with me on this one. How about Mona? Well? I'm Mona. <laughs> Director Cohen, we picked up readings of two hostiles approaching near facility grounds. I thought we only sent one agent on patrol. We did. It appears as if he's accompanied by Curtis's project. Number three. She'd come back alone if she was looking for shelter. It seems Curtis's plan has failed. It's already started. What's starting? War. Go fetch number five from the testing grounds. We have some bargaining to do. The world is changing. I spent years studying genetics, but it seems as if it was all for nothing. Hector. I'm going to tell you exactly what we're going to do. They didn't trust me anymore, but I found a place not too far out from here. It's been abandoned for years now. Under the grid and out of the government's sight, 
the perfect location for a training ground, a, uh, a facility of sorts. I want to learn what makes this world larger than it actually is. People like you, metahumans, will find them, will train them, will become something greater. And we'll use them to make tomorrow a better one. What do you want from me? Dredd Cohen wants to see you. We should get going. She's here. Send her in. I know you have my brother, so I'm not gonna ask again. I want answers. You know, I heard you could read minds. I've seen some pretty crazy stuff here. A man who could stop bullets with his hands. A girl who could create earthquakes. But even that sounds like science fiction. You didn't answer my question. I want answers, and I want them now. You know, if you could really read my mind, you know your brother's fine. So I'm not sure what answers you're looking for. I know where he's at, but not how he's feeling. After all the tests your facility has done, I would think you would know that by now. Well, then you'd be happy to know that I'm meeting with him later. In fact, he's found a friend. You're gonna kill them, aren't you? Possibly. There is another option, though. You are going to say exactly what I tell you to say. And why would I do that? Because I'm feeling generous. Maybe generous enough to let you see your brother one more time. Not too far off now. They know we're coming soon enough. Knowing them, they probably already know. They just don't know why. So what are we doing when we get back to the facility? Now would probably be a good time to discuss the plan again. Again? So those other three times you didn't hear me. I'm sorry. I think you missed the point that I can make earthquakes with my hands. Point taken. Never mind. You know, that plan would still be nice, though. Here.
Here's fine. I'll be a few miles out that way. You keep her here so we can use her. Once we get to the facility, they take you. Gather the others and find my sister. And what about you? I'm going to the main tower to turn on emergency power and eventually overload the generators. Okay, and what happens when you overload the generator? Well, that's when the fun begins. And how much time will we have to escape? Enough. How can you be so sure? I'm not. You coming? can't really tell the future, but one day this will all work out. We can't save them now because it's just too dangerous, but one day. Hey, you. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Well, I'm unconvinced. But why are you taking off your gear? What does that have to do with anything? Because it's hot. Wait, what are you doing? I thought you said we didn't have much time. Let's go take a seat. Look, um got something to tell you, and now is better than never. What is it? I know what Dr. Curtis did to David. I had heard rumors about it for weeks at the facility. If I had had the opportunity, I would have warned you about it. You, you knew him? He was the only one who really knew what was going on in there. He was my friend. Thanks. It means a lot. I can't even imagine you being able to go back to a place you've been held captive in your entire life. For once in my life, I'm ready to go back. Well, let's not waste any more time. Just let me do the talking. Number three, it's been too long. Welcome home. How did you find us out here? We're still miles away from the facility. I know these woods. We picked up your signals miles ago. That's why I'm bringing her back to you now. You're aiming your rifle at me. Back when you were developed, we put eyes on all of our test subjects. Wait. What do you mean, developed? Oh, you're not aware of that either. That's enough. The reason your name is a number, that's because you were born there.
The reason Dr. Curtis was so fond of you is because you were his experiment from the start. He spliced cells together and just like that you were born in a lab. The prototype for an army of genetically engineered metahumans. Mona, don't listen to him. why you do what you do. All those strands of DNA meshed up together are quite unstable. It appears the result are seismic waves from your hands. He was right. They were all right. I'm, I'm a weapon. A tad on the nose, but you seem to get the idea. Where is he, Cohen? There's our problem. Curtis's schedule is surprisingly free. Oh, that's right. Uh, he shot down, uh, what was his name? David, right? He was never like you. My sincerest condolences, but my patience only goes so far. I think you understand, right? But you, you're actually the funny part in all of this. Was it about the rifle? The more I think about it, I... Do you even know how ridiculous this is? Even if you try to strike me down, I have an entire army miles away waiting to take you both down in a matter of seconds. That's why I have a plan, and she has a point. The only reason I joined the facility was to get my sister out of your grasp. Well, I'm offended, but that reminds me. I have something for you. Gabe, listen to me. I don't have much time, but you have to listen to Cohen. You have to listen to him. Gabe, please. I don't believe you. You told her what to say. In some regards. But that's also why I planned ahead. I left a little something for you in the recording. Oh what? What? What's going on? With a mind like hers, what's the need for lie detectors? Where is she, Cohen? Well, if you calm down, maybe I'd... What are you doing to my sister? We're using her right now. We know your every thought. I can't read his mind. He's too far away. <sighs> it's people like you. The world isn't what it used to be. And that's why Hector and I started this all those years ago. We're taking a few lies to save billions when it's needed most. At what? The cost of every... The few lies we've taken through the years to support the needs of the many? For every life we take, we save a thousand. That's why Hector decided to start breeding our own. Why would you trust Curtis? He was one of us. Because, unlike you, he was willing to accept who he truly was. A weapon. Those we take, they aren't people. They're just the keys to a brighter future. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't put a bullet in your head right now. I know you won't. She knows you won't. Stop playing games. Even if I die, the facility will live on. You don't honestly believe you can take down an army of superhumans with one rifle. She never asked for this. Let her go. No, she asked for this when she was born. But you know, I'm feeling generous, so I might make you a deal. And what might that be? Her life for your sisters. If you end this once and for all, I'll give you what you really want. If not, well then this is going to be an unfortunate ending. I'm not gonna do this. You need to do this. You have to do this.
Gabe, I already know where you're going to go with this. I brought you out here for a reason, and they already know what I'm going to do. She has nothing to live for. Finish this already. You might know what I'm gonna do. But not me. It's a shame. You still stand no chance. He's right. The facility still stands. There's no chance in rescuing them. Welcome back to Channel 4 News, and we have breaking news to start off tonight's program. A recently abandoned testing facility located in Permount, Virginia, was recently discovered to have been housing men and women against their will. However, after an unexpected tremor hit the area, the individuals were able to escape as the facility was taken down to the ground and all those involved behind the scenes with it. Although some were rushed for hospitalization, we were able to speak to several witnesses after the incident on standby with local paramedics. I was trapped in there for five years. It's about time I got my life back. I don't know what happened in that place, but I'm so glad that that nightmare's over. Hi, Carissa. I know it's been a few days and things have died down, but I can't escape what's really on my mind. I guess, I guess I just needed some time to myself. Look, I'll be headed home soon, and I know there's still a chance you'll be okay. But I'm losing hope.
Either way, I'm just glad to have you back home. them to make tomorrow a better one. I just can't believe that people will never know what happened. Those who remember won't forget. I can never let 